Live from the Acres Broadcast Center inside East Stadium, this is the Husker Athletic Director Show with Trev Alberts. It's Williams, a drop step, reverse layup with the left hand, and Mast is just dissecting Edie early in this game. Deep left wing, Jazz Shelley to take the lead, you betcha! Shelley bobbed a triple from the left wing and a big red lead at 36-34. On the right side to Hoiberg, right to left, top of the circle, reverses it off the floor, CJ, three is good! Got it! Bang, all right! CJ Wilcher is on fire! Goes off the bounce, goes behind your back, works foul line, pots for three, top of the key, you betcha! Natalie pots the Big Ten freshman of the week with a triple. 15 on the shot clock. Now he comes to the left side after spinning away from Barry. High post on a pop out to Mass. Nine on the shot clock. The handoff on the shot by Tominaga. Got it! Got it! Bang! 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 They say Tominaga! Here is your host, Greg Sharp, on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome to our, our or we, our monthly sit-down with the athletic director for the Cornhuskers, Trev Alberts. Great to have him for the next hour. If you want to be a part of it with a comment or question, our text line, our phone lines, both open and available for you at 402-413-2400. A lot of fun stuff going on, including a heck of a win last night over Ohio State. Couldn't be happier for a guy like Rink Mass, who has certainly had an interesting several months here on campus. But, man, he couldn't miss last night, Trev. Yeah, it was, uh, it was Rick Mass world, and everybody else was living in it. Um, but, um, you know, as you mentioned, uh, the thing that's so rewarding for me is it's so fun to watch the student athletes out on the court. Of course, the average fan sees them in competition. But when you get to interact them with them at, you know, places like the training table, and you see them as just a normal, Rink Mass is one of the kindest, he- nicest but yet, I love watching him in the game. He always has, like, scratch marks all over him. He's bleeding, bleeding from somewhere. But he's a heck of a basketball player, and he's a great teammate. He's a heck of a leader. And he was, uh, after Derek Walker, you know, Fred, we really needed somebody. And then you look at the injury to Jawan Gary. Uh, the way Rink has stepped up has been special. He's been a great leader. It looks like that team really gets along, doesn't it? It looks like there's a real cohesiveness about that group. You know, I think it's the, as you think about sports today, I mean, it's, it's the thing that's not getting talked enough about. I mean, we talk about the transfer portal, we talk about NIL, and we talk about one and dones, and we talk about guys moving from this. Still, at the end of the day, can the coaches create a culture that's about team? Can you convince a bunch of young men and young women that the collective is more important than the individual? And I think what Fred and this team, you know, Ernie and... I love those coaches, and Adam and Nate, you know, the whole entire coaching staff. I mean, I think the players understand their role. I think they genuinely, I see them passing up a good shot for a great shot. I mean, there, there's very small little nuances to what you watch on that court. Um, just the hustle, the effort, the desire. I'm really proud of them. Crowd was really into it. The students were back after a long break. <laughs> uh, great to have the red zone back, and, and they can certainly affect the game. We have a handful of home games left. I know you'd love to see a packed PBA. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, I like to, to challenge our fans, right? Because sometimes they challenge us. But let's, let's, let's finish this thing out. We've got five home games left. Uh, I think we've got the upcoming one against Wisconsin. Yeah. It's going to be a really tough game. Um, but a lot of them are on the weekend, too. Let's, let's go ahead and finish this out. Let's sell out PBA. This is a team that's sitting at 15 and 5. Got an opportunity to do some special things this year. And uh, so... Our fans are really important. You look at, look at what a record is at PBA. We've lost once. You look at what it is on the road. Home court advantages are really, really important. And so I'd love for Husker Nation to show up and show out, come out and support these young men, and, and let's sell out PBA the rest of the way. Both basketball teams are right now projected to be NCAA tournament teams. The women have had a really good year. They do have an upcoming sellout at home. They've sold out the Iowa game that will be in a few weeks at PBA. But, but the women are, are putting together a nice season. Yeah, Amy and her staff have done a great job as well, you know, and, and uh, they've got some tough games coming up. Obviously, you've got Ohio State, you've got Iowa. Yeah. I'm really proud of our fan base for how they've supported our women's program, too. And uh, so, you know, um, again, winning on the road is hard in the Big Ten. Both of those programs have positioned themselves well, but this is that time of year, right? This is when the teams separate. This is when it gets real, right? When the, every single game matters, every possession matters, toughness will matter. And uh, so... Um, well, nothing would please me more, and uh, I think our athletic department, and if we could get men's and women's basketball into postseason play, that'd be really wonderful. And they've put in the work. You know, they've put in the work. 
they've created great cultures. They're working hard together and uh, just proud of the support that those programs are getting from our fans. You've always said that, you know, you've even passed this on to your coaches that you, we know you're not going to win every game, but give really good effort and our fans will be there to support you. And I think we've seen that from both those basketball teams. It's how you play the game. How do you play the game? Um, you know, more than anything else, it's how you conduct yourself. Um, you know, what level of toughness do you have? Um, fundamentals matter, you know? And, um, and, and does the team represent what Nebraskans care about? And um, I think both those programs do that. And uh, so, like I said, there's going to be nights when rank mass doesn't go, you know, yeah. seven from ten from three. <laughs> you know, so you might lose some games. But, but the hustle can still be there. The teamwork can still be there. The discipline can be there. And most, in, uh, most of all, um, what I really value is toughness. And it isn't just physical toughness. You know, the, the, it's the mental toughness to not react when somebody else does something to you, right, that gets you a foul or a technical or a false start or personal foul in football, right? It's, the, it's those, that kind of toughness. And it's that repetition that comes from consistent practice and attention to detail. Both those coaches, I think, have really exemplified that. And, uh, and they've put themselves and their teams, you know, in a position. And now we need to finish. It's been a fun month off the court as well. Jordan Hooper had her jersey retired a few weeks ago for the women, and then you had a big alumni weekend for the men. Coach Knee came back. So I think it's only the second time he's been back in about 25 years. He looked good. I thought it was fun to hear him talk. Yeah, it was great, you know, and, and, uh, and his son was here, yeah. and I got to spend a lot of time with him. And, uh, you know, the thing that never, you know, I, I don't miss is when I go and you really pay attention to those players, it's really meaningful to them and their families to get to come back, spend time. It's meaningful for Coach Nee. I mean, Danny was real honest about it at the celebration and even in the local media. Look, you know, when coaches get separated, whether they leave, there's bitterness. And, but I could tell it really meant a lot to Danny Nee too. You know, and it meant a lot as he walked out there to have our fans cheer. Um, he did some really amazing things here, right? And accomplished an awful lot. So, you know, it really dawned on me and is not lost on me is we, we, need to, we need to continue doing those types of things. We need to celebrate family. We need to, you know, it's really meaningful when people come back. And I, I think it's more than just celebrating your alumni. Like I think prospective student athletes, especially in the state of Nebraska, when they see a positive culture in the athletic department, when parents see this family atmosphere, I think it helps us acquire talent. I, I think Dylan Rayola, I think Britt Prince, I think, you know, I, I think Jordy Ball, I think these types of student athletes who feel like this is home, this is family, we can do more of that. And, and I want to tell you, you know, one of the big challenges is, is always with football. It's former players. We have a lot of them. We have a yeah. lot of generations. We have a lot of desires and wants. And I'm not ready to do this today, but, you know, we, we, we are working on a holistic plan on how we can do a better job of engaging our former football players and making them feel connected and welcomed. We also have the end club and how do those two mm -hmm. interface. And so there's going to need to be more effort. Resources are going to have to be part of it. We're going to have to dedicate ourselves to it. But in my short time here and just watching some of these types of things like the alumni game, like Jordan Hooper, um, we need to embrace more of that. And uh, we're going to make that a focus. You know, it's, it's always so many, particularly in the side of football, so many guys who come here to play end up coming back to live yeah. in Lincoln or Omaha. And then on the basketball side, Eric Strickland has come back yeah. to live. Pikowski lives in the area. Those guys were not, I mean, Strick was, but Pike Bo was Reed, from, Chubbick. Bo, yeah. They're all around here. Yeah. And, and, you know, we, we, we want them to feel part of the program, right? Like, and, um, and, and, and sometimes, you know, um, you, you have to have coaches that are secure enough in themselves to embrace it. Part of it is we have to help our coaches. One of the things that Matt told me right away is, because Trev, I need some help. I don't know who all these people are. I don't want them right. to think that I don't want former players here. I want them here. I need to have some parameters around it. I need to have some organizational structure. But help me understand, because um, he understands the importance of the former players. I mean, he, he's a former Penn State football player. It's right. important to those players to feel connected to the program. And so what we've done is we have a couple of folks that are trying to help us. We've looked at other institutions. We're going to, um, you know, try to find some ways. And I'm sure even when we communicate the final plan, there'll be some that think we're not doing enough, but, but we're going to do the best that we can to really embrace and honor our former, former student athletes here. Speaking of Pike, he made a half court shot. 
<laughs> you know. How cool like, is that? Of course he was going to make that. I mean, <laughs> that guy, um, I've never, you know, you talk about a pure shooter. Ooh. I remember back in the day at the Devaney, you know, being a football player, and we could come and watch basketball games. It was an awesome environment. And I love the personalities in the Big Eight, those head basketball coaches. Oh, they didn't like phenomenal. each other. And Billy Tubbs, Norm Stewart. You're talking about seeing elite personalities. And uh, we had a great relationship with the basketball team. A lot of respect for them. Speaking of former coaches, since we had you on the last time, we got some great news for Frank Solich, going to be inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. Yeah, I'm so happy, happy for Coach, you know. And, I mean, there's obviously very few people that are more deserving than him. And, and uh, so he's excited about it. I actually had a chance to, to talk to, to Coach today a little bit, good. just kind of catch up. And, uh, you know, I think he feels good about um, things. And so we're going to do the best that we can. Um, obviously, Coach has a long history here at the University of mm -hmm. Nebraska. He always has a long history that he's very proud of at Ohio. And uh, he's, got a, he's got a field named after him. So yeah. I'm going to work with Julie Cromer, the athletic director over there. We're going to work together on coming up with a strategy to do the best that we can to honor Coach Solich and his family. It's a big deal. It's a big deal to be in the College Football Hall of Fame as a coach. There's very few people attain that. And uh, so we'll get to go down to Las Vegas and honor, honor Coach. Fantastic. All right, football team, they're back uh, in the winter conditioning. Was this, was this something you dreaded, or were you excited during winter conditioning time as a player? Well, for me, you know, it always depends, Greg, on where you are in your career, right? So if, if you're a redshirt freshman or, and you're like, okay, this is my opportunity, I'm, you're trying to move up the depth chart. So I'm third right outside linebacker right now. I pay a bigger price. Can I get to two? Could I even get to one? Uh, and then you get older, a little more established, and maybe it hurts a little bit more. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I think my perspective changed a little bit. You know, as you get to be an older player and more established, maybe you didn't quite love it as much. But when you're younger, it was that opportunity because everybody's searching to get on the field. Everybody wants playing time. Well, they're all back getting after it and working in the weight room. I, last night I was looking down at, on the court and behind the basket, kind of in the area where you're usually sitting, was John Cook, Jalen Reyes, on bookending Dylan Riola. And, <laughs> and they were having a great conversation. I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall listening to that conversation. That was kind of cool to see those guys sitting there. Well, I'll tell you what, what's cool to me. And to me, you know, uh, we, we don't ask our coaches to go to other events. We don't ask our student athletes. We don't, there's no mandate. Well, if you go to support this student athlete, you earn these points so you don't have to get out of community service. To me, you have a good culture in an athletic department. When the crowd pans over in a basketball game and Matt Rule's sitting there with a bunch of coaches. Right. And the crowd pans over and John Cook is sitting there. Or you pan over at a women's basketball game and our track, you know, and field coach is there. What I am so proud of is how many of our student athletes go to support other student athletes at their events. I mean, they go to tennis meets. They go to soccer. And to see our other coaches getting out. Um, when the Husker family is the strongest, we're united and we're together. And so... That's the kind of stuff that matters to me. Other sports that are going on right now, the wrestling team is doing some good things, and they added a football player at the heavyweight dude. <laughs> how, about, how about Nash being on that team now? Well, you know, and Polar Bear decides, well, I'll just be 285. Wouldn't that be nice to go, well, I'll just go down and be 285. Um, but uh, pretty, pretty cool to watch him. Um, and uh, the wrestling team has just continues to do well. Top, I think they're seventh in the country yep. right now, and obviously a lot of tough matches coming up. Um, got a lot of young talent, got some, some versatile talent, uh, and I think Nash brings them another alternative at, at, at heavyweight. And uh, so, you know, we'll see what they can get accomplished in the Big Ten. It's obviously a pretty tough wrestling conference, um, but uh, a lot of opportunity for us. There's some coaches that would not like their student athlete to venture into a sport like that. That speaks highly of Matt Rural, doesn't it? He's allowing Nash to go compete in another sport. Matt is pro student athlete. Matt is on the team of the student athlete. And uh, if, Nat, if that's important to Nash and it's something Nash wants to do, um, John, uh, you know, Matt is going to support him and uh, support Coach Manning in that. So those two have a great relationship. Matt loves wrestling. Um, you know, I don't know if he has a wrestling background himself, but Matt's Penn a wrestling State background. has got to be, right? It's got it's to be. I mean, he, he, I think he, he, he genuinely respects wrestling. Uh, like I said, I, you know, uh, I love when our coaches – develop relationships with each other outside of the office. Because at the end of the day, they're all experiencing the same stuff. They all have the same pain points. The, the portal's real for all of them. Yep. They're all fighting like heck to, and so instead of sitting in these silos, how do we take the collective wisdom of everybody 
integrate it and say, hey, what's working for you in football? How can that help us in wrestling? Hey, if we've got some resources in recruiting in football, can we bring the rest? That's a nice thing that Matt and our staff did. All the other programs for football games during recruiting brought recruits to, and so we had that sort of economies of scale where we were able to, to impact other programs too. It takes the personal security of the football coach uh, and humility uh, to want to be a part of a team. And I've been really pleased with Matt and his approach there too. How, how much do the coaches lean on you and how much are you available for coaches to meet with prospective student athletes when they're on campus? Is Matt running by your office all the time when they're here? How, how does that work? It just depends. You know, um, every, every coach is a little bit different. Um, I think some of them are concerned that, you know, as busy as I am, that it's the last thing I do. I love doing it, do you? but I will never push myself on a coach, not my program. So, you know, with Matt, there's times, hey, we're having this big recruiting thing. Can you come out? Or if there's somebody has a natural connection, Jake Peters was from Cedar Falls, Iowa, made some sense. So there's a lot of strategy around it. And, uh, you know, I mean, just depending on the coach. I mean, uh, you know, Amy Williams has asked me several times, had mm -hmm. the privilege of meeting with parents and prospective student athletes, uh, you know. Um, and it depends. Sometimes it, it's the parents and, and it's the students who have specific questions about the vision of the athletic department and how they, and so then I can, I can deliver that. So, um, yeah, it just depends, but I'm, I'm happy to do it. I love to do it. Um, it's probably the best part of my day. <laughs> I bet. You know, yeah. I mean, I, we're, we're, we're here to serve student athletes. And at the end of the day, without student athletes, none of us have a job. And so we do all this other stuff that we're required to do to get to invest in young people, watch them come in as a naive, sometimes broken, sometimes challenged, and then use our resources to invest in them. And they walk out with a Big Ten education, with an amazing experience in competition, and life skills to move beyond college. That's kind of a fulfilling deal. Sometimes we succeed, sometimes we fail. But it's really what our mission's all about. It's what our values are. Very good. All right. Krebs here for the hour, 402-413-2400. I see some texts coming in. We'll get to those as we make our way through the hour. We've got some spring football news to talk about with Trev. We're going to get to that in the next segment. Woodhouse Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. More with the athletic director for the Cornhuskers. That's coming up next. Hey, Husker fans, Alumni Hall is your ultimate Husker shopping experience. The best and largest selection of apparel for the whole family. Adidas, Champion, Columbia, plus gifts, accessories, and all of your tailgating needs. UNL students, faculty, and military always receive a 10% off in-store, and you can earn cash back with Hall Pass rewards. Shop their downtown Lincoln or South Point Pavilion locations or anytime at alumnihall.com. Alumni Hall, where Husker fans shop. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families, a legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of Built Ford Tough. Now, get 1.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride. 
the official foundation company of the Huskers. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families, a legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of Built Ford Tough. Now, get 1.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. There's no community like a Cenex community, and that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. Woodhouse Cadillac, where luxury meets performance. Discover the seamless blend of design, innovation, and power as you explore the 2024 Cadillac lineup. Lease a 2024 Cadillac XT5 Luxury for $599 a month for 39 months, 10,000 miles per year. With approved credit, must have current Cadillac financial lease and Costco membership prior to January 1st, 2024. $2,500 down plus first payment and $299 document fee due at signing. Offer expires February 29th, 2024. See dealer for details. Back inside our Acres Broadcast Center. Acres is the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. It's our athletic director show for the month of January. Trev Albert's with us until the top of the hour. I kind of teased it going into the break that you were set to announce, and we knew that the spring game was going to be April 27th. Uh, what else can you tell us? When are, when are tickets going to be available for fans? <laughs> Well, um, tickets are going to be on sale uh, February 6th, okay. and so those will be our season ticket holders first. Then February 7th, it will go to the remaining public, so we'll be able to get that out. There will be some slight changes um, you know, to the tickets, so I, I don't know how many years it's been, but tickets to the general public are going to be $15 now. Okay. Uh, it will be $5 for high school age and under. UNL students are still free. Uh, there will be $25 tickets for club seats if they're available. So. Just want to be transparent about a little bit of the pricing change uh, at the spring game. But the other thing that's important is, and, and we worked with the Big Ten on this, where the spring game is going to be at 11 a.m. Oh, okay. And uh, part of the reason for this is we think it's going to be kind of a cool day to spend with the Huskers uh, for families who might choose to come to town. So uh, we've got softball and baseball games the same day. So if we do the spring game at 11 o'clock, and then about 1.30, we're not sure yet on some of the times for softball and baseball, but you have a chance maybe at 11 o'clock to see you know, Dylan Raiola and Danny Kalin and some of the incoming folks um, in the spring game, 1.30, go over to Boland Stadium and, and uh, check out Jordy Ball, and then baseball maybe an hour later. So I thought it might be a nice day, and we might have some more things surrounding that. Not ready to announce it yet, but kind of want to just celebrate Husker athletics a little bit and make it uh, convenient for all of our fans to get a little access to, to some of our programs. So we'll do a little bit different, um, 11 a.m. for the spring game start. Fantastic. Coach Rowe, I think, likes those late morning kicks, doesn't he? He's kind of a fan of that. I, he seems fine with about yeah. anything, but 11 a.m. doesn't bother him at all. And, of course, everything they're doing is, is about recruiting. Right. And so if there's some opportunity to get guys in and out, um, we'll be helpful to them as well. But um, administratively, just thought, and football was fine with it. Big Ten was great with it. That would be a great way to um, I hate to have a spring game at the same time where folks could be possibly getting to support and see 
you know, softball and baseball as well. Okay, so February 6th, season ticket holders, you will be able to purchase your spring game tickets February 7th. The general public will be able to buy tickets. Huskers.com is your go-to site to find all of those things out. Rudy in Florida has a text for you here. Trevi says, hi, Trev, thanks for being our AD. And now we don't have to deal with Jim Harbaugh in our league anymore. That was announced late this <laughs> afternoon. He has accepted the job with the Los Angeles Chargers, headed back to the NFL. You know and played with Jim. You were a teammate with Jim. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Jim, I consider Jim a friend. And, um, in fact, uh, 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 he and his wife and family lived in the same neighborhood as Angie and I back with the Indianapolis Colts. And, and uh, we enjoyed some things. I'll never forget, we went to the first Garth Brooks concert together <laughs> there in Indianapolis. But, um, you know, look, um, you know, Jim's, Jim's a successful football coach. I mean, what they accomplished at Michigan is really remarkable. And to win the national championship is no small feat. Um, I thought it was great that the national championship had essentially two Big Ten teams in it. It was mm -hmm. really important for the Big Ten. So I um, would congratulate Jim. He'll do a great job. He's a very successful coach in the NFL as well. And uh, so, but it does add, you know, you and I were talking in the break. I mean, when there's changes in college football now because of the portal and because of NIL, entire rosters are blown up with one transition. No doubt. It doesn't mean they can't be successful, but look at what happened at Washington. Look at what happened at Alabama with coaching changes. So we'll see what happens. Um, certainly the Big Ten is, is changing and evolving, and uh, uh, we'll miss having Jim as, as a head coach in the Big Ten. Andy in Phoenix says, Trev, please pat yourself on the back. You are making all this happen, hiring coaches, keeping coaches honest and happy. Husker Nation is loving this. I wear my Nebraska gear with pride down here in Arizona. Go Big Red. <laughs> Well, it's nice of you. I, I, uh, I want you to know, and I say this all the time, um, this is not about me, and, and uh, we've got a great team here, Greg. You know, we, we have a lot, of, a lot to sell here in Nebraska. And um, if we just keep people in their lanes and everybody does their job and we think about the collective whole as more important than, than me and we make decisions for the best interest of Nebraska long term, good things happen for us here. So incredibly uh, grateful and proud of our staff, our coaches. And again, I think leadership matters. And so head coaches who, who understand the importance of team and family um, and embrace it really help as well. Mike on our text line said, Trev, it, has there been any talk of moving volleyball to PBA for a season or can we expand the Devaney Center? Also, what is the status of the football stadium expansion? So, Mike, lots of questions. I'll do myself, my best to, to walk through some of those. We, we've looked at several different options. We, there are some possible availabilities. It's not a lot to, to look over at Devaney as some additional seats. Um, we have looked at some opportunities at PBA to maybe, you know, move a couple games over there to, um, to expand and grow our fan base. Obviously, that has to fit within, you know, the calendar. We'll continue to look at those kind of options. Um, you know, but we've got a real home court advantage in Devaney, and it's a, it's a fantastic facility. You know, can we think about, you know, one-off opportunities that maybe include more, um, you know, we talk about the students a lot. I think having those students, you know, on that sideline for basketball is pretty cool. It's hard for us to execute that at Devaney with existing season ticket holders. We've talked about that before. But if you did do a couple game one-off at PBA, you know, in, enhance your fan base, allow the students a different experience for those times. Could be a pretty cool home court advantage there as well. You know, the stadium as well, we're continuing to work. Um, um, you know, um, we, we will have additional information soon. Uh, there's just so much work to be done there. Obviously, um, any intermediate design has to go back in front of the Board of Regents. I'm trying to figure how that looks. That'll be public. But I can just assure Husker Nation um, that we will um, we'll have very clear, transparent, and um, hopefully effective internal and external communication plans when it comes to the stadium. Um, you know, anytime you have major disruption um, that, uh, that you're going to have to deal with, it'll be on us to communicate at a high level. Very good. Dorothy Lynch, Homestyle, light and lean dressing, endless flavorabilities. Dale and Hastings on our text line said, Trev, any comments on the topic of fan storming the court of course uh, that happened when we upset number one purdue a few weeks ago matt painter produce coach said he thinks that the big 10 as a whole needs to be take a look at this and make sure that everybody's secure and all these type of things your thoughts about all that well and dale i, I was one to storm the court so um you know i'm, I'm guilty as charged i, I will say this he, he makes a great point and it is something we need to address the challenge is this and and i actually talked to 
one of the security folks at PBA when I saw what was happening behind. I walked up and I said, can I ask you a question? I said, are, are, are you planning on trying to stop this? One person. And he said, well, I, I, I said, I, my recommendation is you not do that. I, I, I think somebody's going to get hurt. What has to happen is you have to have a plan that helps the opposing team. The issue is not our fans and get our team. Off. You got to get them off the court. And so as you're anticipating, hey, this looks like it's gonna, this can happen, because you can tell it's happening. You can feel it happening, right? Um, I mean, even Coach Rule looks at me and he goes, are, are, are we storming the court? And I said, what? Well, I think we have to. But the point is, we, we can do a better job as a league, and I think we are looking into that, is there has to be clear protocol, and the opposing teams have to go with it too, right? If you have a plan that helps them get off the court safely, then they have to adhere to it, all the players. Um, because you are asking for, you've got emotional, highly charged people running at people that you just, and they're disappointed they lost. You're just asking for a challenge, which happened in the Iowa, you know, Ohio State game with, with Caitlin Clark. So we can and we will uh, work on, on a plan, but, you know, I know the SEC has issued massive fines. It really hasn't stopped the the field storming, it just cost them some money. I mean, it's, it's a very hard thing to manage, to be totally honest. Yeah. That's what I was going to, my next question was, as a league, have we talked about instituting those kind of fines? I think the Big 12 maybe even has something like that, too. The Big 10 has not done that, though. Well, it's, it's, it's not been something that uh, has been a part of any of the AD meetings okay. that I've been a part of, probably because we're discussing a lot of other things that, um, you know, are fairly impactful relative to the national scene. I know you've had a, a handful of Big Ten and NCA meetings over the last month. You've been traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. um, are the new members now part of your meetings? Are the Oregons and Washingtons and the Cal Los yeah. Angeles schools now, are they sitting in on the meetings for the Big Ten? Yeah, they are. Yeah, and, um, you know, a couple times they're uh, via Zoom. It's more challenging for them, obviously, for us to get to Chicago. Um, but, yes, they are actively participating, working on things like scheduling, working on strategies, you know. Uh, I'll just say this. Do we have time or do we need to come nope, back? No, we got time. I, I, I'll just say this, you know, and I, I've tried my best to – uh, to help our internal staff, but I also want our fans. And, and I want folks to understand, you know, the amount of potential chaos. Let's just think big picture of our country. We have a presidential election in 2024. Mm -hmm. That's going to add natural challenges, whatever. You know, we're, we're undergoing challenges as an institution relative to our budget, right? We're in the middle of a presidential search. Mm -hmm. and I know you're going to speak to the interim president, Chris tonight. Bork, mm -hmm. here tonight as well. So you look at that. You, you look at all the litigation that's happening in college athletics right now. Some of these are set to go to trial in January of 25, right? So you have all that on, on the – you have a college football playoff right now that has two years left that's going from a four-team to a 12-team with no definition on the future. You can, get a, you can get a negotiation on the total amount, but what's, you know, what's the access look like and what's the revenue distribution look like? You have television deals that the Big Ten actually will go back to market prior to some of the others. You have Florida State who's suing the ACC. ACC is suing Florida State. I guess what I'm trying to say is um, there's a massive amount of change that is happening. You have private equity that is trying to insert themselves into the intercollegiate space, right? So these are unprecedented times. And um, I, I just, you know, I feel confident about the University of Nebraska. This is, we've got great people here, right? But I just want our fans to know that Nebraska is not trying to drive this change. We may not necessarily love the change. The reality is the change is happening and we're gonna have to make tough decisions. Do we let others dictate the change to us or do we proactively try to help create what our future looks like? It's a tough thing to deal with, but I will only say I'm really grateful that Tony Petiti is our, is our commissioner. Tony's experience at the network level, Tony's experience that he, he actually participated in creating the original BCS. He, he understands scheduling. He understands why scheduling is so important to networks in terms of what revenue looks like. But there's going to be a sea change in college athletics. And um, I just want to talk openly about that because in the end, it, it, it's going to affect our fans. And it's going to affect how we operate our business in what we do. And um, that's all I can say about it other than, you know, buckle up. Wild times. And you're right. Not uh, nothing we've ever experienced before in these sports. All right, need to step aside, get a break in. Two, oh, 
402-413-2400. I see a couple of callers, a couple of more texts have come in. We'll try to pick off those as we move along with Trev Alberts coming up next. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Save now during the Start Something New sales event happening now at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair. Right now, lease the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Altitude for $399 per month. Grand Cherokee is the most luxurious vehicle in its class. Based on Summit model offerings and the latest Ward's Middle Sport Utility Vehicle segment. Excludes other FCA US LLC vehicles. Based on the latest available competitive information. Lease for 27 months, 10,000 miles per year. For well-qualified returning lease customers. With approved credit. Tax tied license extra. $1,999 down plus first payment and $299 dot fee to its signing. Stock number C240394. Offer expires 131.24. See dealer for details. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. As a fan, you wear your jersey on your back and your heart on your sleeve. There's a place for people like you. The Cox Fan Zone. Play NFL Pick'em and Collegiate Pick'em for a chance to win a $100 Visa gift card each week or even a $500 Visa gift card grand prize. Hey, Oscar fans, this is Greg Sharp. Say Fan Zone in your Contour Voice remote to play. Not at home? Visit Cox.com slash Fan Zone. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions, cow chip throwing, or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. 
For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families, a legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of Built for Tough. Now, get 1.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Folks, you could win a 2024 Porsche Macon from Porsche of Omaha this season. Some Husker fans are going to get a chance to win that Porsche if they make a full court putt at halftime of one of the men's basketball games. Get yourself registered. Go to huskers.com slash putt. We've had a couple of them so far this year, but nobody's got it. That's a tough deal to get that through there. Yeah, let me tell you something. You'd have to make it about... <laughs> 10 times bigger for me to come close to that. I there actually there was one though. Somebody hit the board. Hit the board. Mm -hmm. And I, th I I thought that was That's pretty there should good. be a consolation prize for hitting the board. It's give him something. Give him something. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh stay in Lincoln. Jason, you're up with Trev. Good evening. Hey Sharpie. Hey Trev. Uh thanks hey, for taking my call. Sure. Uh I love going to the Husker track meets. The sound system in there is pretty brutal. Uh, I'm sure that the coaches uh, have mentioned that to you. No, I. But it's getting really, really bad. So what? I I, uh, I uh, was there on Saturday for a while. What 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 is it that's brutal? I'm sorry. I maybe I wasn't paying very close attention, Jason. Well, it, the, the the sound system is not loud enough, and it's it used to be a, a solid sound system. You know, two, three, five years ago. Uh, it's not easy to have great sound in a facility like that, a big indoor field house, but it's, uh, it just needs a, a professional sound expert to say, okay, let's, mo let's amplify this. Let's add a couple speakers here. Uh, it, it was kind of pointless to have a, a PA guy cause he couldn't understand anything he was saying. I mean, okay. occasionally you could, if it was really quiet, Okay. but it was. I don't know. That's such a great facility, and the, you know, those athletes are such a joy to watch. I just hope that that's you know in the plans. And you know, one quick thing: it was great to see Danny Knee. It was great to see the Husker basketball legends. Uh, I was surprised uh, they were all standing there in black, you know, sweatshirts, Husker sweatshirts. You have helped tighten that up, uh, Trev. I called the show a couple of years ago. When you got here, you tightened up that. You know, we're, we're wearing scarlet and cream and red mm -hmm. and white usually, but I was disappointed. Not that it didn't look, you know, they looked fine. They looked sharp, but yeah. I was surprised that our Husker basketball legends weren't standing down there in red. So that's all I have. Thank you, Trev. Thank you, Jason. And, and uh, a couple things. First of all, I, I totally agree with you, man. I, you, go, you go in that track facility, and I, who has a track facility like In fact, I, I got a Sacramento State coach sent me an email. He said, I've never done this before. He goes, <laughs> he goes, I know you couldn't control the weather because remember it was like oh, minus 10 that day. Brutal. But he was just so complimentary of our coaches, the people who run, you know, all of our volunteers. There's so many people that are, you know, and the facility itself is, is really remarkable. So, uh, Jason, I'll, I'll, I'll check into the there, – there's no, there's no sense in making sure that the – you know, the sound system isn't working. You, you have a facility like that. You don't throw up a little. But I, I have not heard anything about it, but, I, but I'll ask. On the other end, I, I appreciate the comment about I, we have tried hard. And I will tell you that um, it's important to me um, that, that, you know, I think if you've noticed our, you know, uniforms that are students across the board, we're, we're, we're wearing red. We're, wearing, we're Nebraska. And if you don't want to wear red, you might have to go to a different school. Um, but from time to time, you know, um, those things happen. And, uh, uh, you know, we do have black pullovers from Adidas that have the red on it as well. But uh, we're doing the best we can to really consolidate our brand, control our brand, have consistency in our brand. You know, I, I didn't mean to, you know, announce this today, but it was very interesting about this because, you know, Lana Hendricks, who works on our brand, we actually have significantly contracted our brand book um, and we've gained some consistency there. And what's happened is our royalty payments that we get has actually increased. We have the highest royalty increase that we've had in a long time. And so sometimes we're our own worst enemy. We, we think, well, we're going to be really creative and we're going to come up with all this 
the consistency and approach and what we need to keep doing is what our coaches and student athletes wear need to be available to retail and to the public. And so we're trying to, we've made a lot of progress there. There's more room to grow. Um, but I am a strong believer in eliminating fragmentation uh, and having clean consistency in your marks. And um, the best thing we have is that right there, that red N. Right. That's us. It's not any of this, you know, we have a primary mark and we have a secondary mark. And uh, if we're consistent with that, and sometimes you have to have some fun, we'll have some, you know, Black History Month, we'll have some throwback stuff that we use. That kind of stuff is important. But um, you're going to see, you know, even in football, we're not wearing throwback uniforms unless there's something really significant. There's no mandate. Let's, you know, real football programs, let's not worry about the, the you know, uniform. Let's worry about who's inside the uniforms, right? That's our focus, and uh, that's what I appreciate about Matt, is uh, just a clean, consistent approach. This is what we wear at home, this is what we wear on the road, and uh, let's focus on who's running around inside those uniforms. Jason mentioned track. Both the men and women are ranked in the top 20 in their indoor teams. Yeah, you yeah. pleased with the progress of that, that program? Well, thrilled. You know, I mean, Justin, you know, he um, and our coaching staff has started to develop a reputation nationally, and so you're starting to see folks who say, hey, because look, it's just not unlike football, a lot of student athletes are, are looking for opportunities beyond, hey, there's Olympic opportunities. And so they're going to go find who gives them, both through facilities, as Jason pointed out, the indoor, and coaching, who can take me from where I am today and position me. So um, <laughs> they're pretty good. They are um, good. It's, it's fun to watch. Yeah, got a couple more indoor meets here before they go to Big Tens and then the NCAA, and then they go outdoors once we get the weather warmed up. All right, need to take our final break of the night, 402-413-2400 to see some more texts. We'll get to those next. Husker fans, if you're looking for a fulfilling career that's financially rewarding and provides flexibility, your local insurance agency is hiring. No matter your skills or interests, there are opportunities for you in the insurance industry. Explore the many ways you can use your skills to protect your community by checking out the IIAN job board. Find your calling and be a part of an industry that makes a difference. Go to IIAN.org slash careers today. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Back to the text line. Cole wants to know if you have any updates on headset technology in football. Will it be allowed in the 2024 football season? I know a couple of the bowl games experimented with that. Any progress there? Is, is this Cole from the football staff? I, it, I don't know. Cole, you can just come up to the third floor. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, I, nothing that I want to um, publicly you know, address here. I, I will only say that, um, and I don't think this is a secret, uh, but obviously we're, we're working hard at, at trying to understand how to do a better job of 
of taking technology and, and putting it into our game. I, I'll say a couple things about that. So it impacts things like replay. You know, I, Tony uh, Petiti's, you know, really passionate about, you know, again, thinking about the flow of our game. I don't know if you remember, like we, you know, you go to the game and if the network gets behind, people thought, well, we're doing this new TV deal, we're doing all these new commercials. We really weren't. But if you get behind on a long drive, you score a touchdown, commercial, kick an extra point, commercial, and it, it's, it's yeah. just dead. We've got to find a way to, for the flow of the game. And part of that is officiating, right? So we were sending, um, you have the replay person in the booth, and then you have folks in Pittsburgh, and you have three people that were rotating. And part of it, it challenged us. Like, you make mistakes as officials during a game, but replay has to get it right. And the problem with us, even at the Minnesota game, was as the clock is running out, and we were on the line of scr scrimmage, because we had three people trying to, it took too long and they didn't get it buzzed and it would have been. And that impacted us. So sure the Big Ten's actually building their own, we're gonna have our own central you know, hub for officiating right there at the Big Ten offices and there'll be one person. So we're working on that kind of stuff, thinking about could we think about a two minute warning where we have a guaranteed spot for those networks so they know they have those two minutes to sell. So everything about our game we've got to really think about. It's really important what the flow of the game looks like, how quickly when we make calls, how successful are we on the replays to make sure we get it right, and that's what we're really focused on as a league. Jeff, coming up here in a couple of weeks is the Celebrate Girls and Women's in Sports Day. We'll finish off with this. Certainly, we're so proud of our, the, our teams, our female teams here in Nebraska doing some wonderful things. We've kind of been on the, the cutting edge of a lot of this, and we're going to celebrate all that here in a few weeks around Lincoln. Yeah, I just think it's wonderful, you know, and I take no credit for this, you know, past leadership, the University of Nebraska a long time ago decided that investing in women's athletics uh, was a cool thing to do, and Nebraska thought it was a cool thing to do before anybody else did. And so, as I said, you know, Volleyball Day in Nebraska, that, that doesn't happen. You could have had that same idea, and if you hadn't had a previous investment, it would have never happened. But that was the culmination of a dedicated effort, too. So, you know, you, you saw some things about, you know, the NCAA took a, a media deal back. Uh, the growth of women's sports, mm -hmm. the interest, um, you know, I, th I think the Ohio State-Iowa basketball game was like a, almost a two rating on NBC. Um, this, is, this is great stuff. And what really encourages me is, again, as some of this change happens and as we celebrate all this, we're kind of uniquely positioned. I mean, we've got a softball program that we're never going to be able to provide enough seats. We're doing the best we can. We're adding additional seats. We're going to be able to get to 2,800, 3,000 people. But all of these changes, we're actually in a great position to take advantage of uh, because of, of the interest in women's athletics here. And as this changes nationally, I think we continue to have a chance to be a leader in women's athletics. It's just great to celebrate it with others who've invested in it for us. Girl and Women's Sports Day is coming up on February the 1st. Good to see you. I know you've been busy traveling all, go to these meetings for the NCAA, Big Ten meetings. It's a busy time, and it always is changing. And you're also enjoying some pretty good fun things happening with our basketball teams, wrestling, women's and men's gym are off to a good start. It's, there's a lot of good things happening. Well, what I've learned, Greg, is that winning is more fun than losing. Yeah. So I think we should just try to win. I, I agree. <laughs> Keep that going. Feel better. Thank you, sir. Thanks for coming in tonight. Trev Alberts with us here on the program tonight. Woodhouse Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. One hour down, another hour to go, which is going to include a visit with interim president Chris Kaborik. He'll be here in studio next hour. Jessica will join me to top off the second hour of the program. That's coming up next. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. 
Experience the thrill of the open road with Woodhouse Chevy. Whether it's the city streets or rugged terrain, Woodhouse Chevy delivers an unparalleled experience. Save up to $13,000 off MSRP on the 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 LT. Visit us in store or online anytime to shop our current offers and view our large inventory. Find new roads with Woodhouse Chevy with approved credit. $179 dock fee due at signing. Offer expires 131 2024. See dealer for details. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks. Foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers.
Good evening, I'm Duke Rood, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Last night, the Nebraska men's basketball team defeated Ohio State 83-69. This was a crucial Big Ten win for the Huskers, who are fighting for a spot in the NCAA tournament. The Huskers were led by, C by center Rink Moss, who had a career high of 34 points on 13 for 17 shooting from the field and 6 for 8 from 3. After the game, the junior had this to say about his performance. When did you know you were in the zone, and how does that affect how you play when you're hitting everything the way you were tonight? Uh, I mean, like CJ said, when I hit that step back, like, I mean, you don't hit that one that often. I was kind of mad at myself for shooting it, cause, but I was just not thinking, and it just shot it, and it went in, and then you kind of know, oh, it's one of those days. <laughs> Nebraska goes back on the road Saturday at Maryland. Tip-off is at 11 with coverage starting at 10 right here on the HRN. Husker thrower Henry Zimmerman was named the Big Ten Men's Co-Field Athlete of the Week for the second consecutive week. Zimmerman broke his own Nebraska school record with a 22.76 meter weight throw at the Graduate Classic. Nebraska tennis player Calvin Mueller was named Big Ten Men's Tennis Player of the Week for his second time in his career. This comes after teammate Anton Shep was honored last week. In the NFL, the Los Angeles Chargers have hired Michigan's Jim Harbaugh as the new head coach. Harbaugh is coming off a national championship with the Wolverines and is looking to bring that success to LA. The Chargers are coming off a disappointing 5-12 record, but look to build around franchise quarterback Justin Herbert. There are two games in men's Big Ten basketball play tonight. Iowa's leading Maryland 34 to 28 at half, and Illinois travels to take on Northwestern at eight. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Coming up next is hour two of Sports Nightly right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. It's Williams, a drop step, reverse layup with a left hand, and Mast is just dissecting Edie early in this game. Deep left wing, Jazz Shelley to take the lead. You betcha! Shelley bombed a triple from the left wing and a big red lead at 36-34. On the right side to Hoiberg, right to left, top of the circle, reverses it off the floor with CJ. Three is good! Got it! Bang! All right! CJ Wilcher is on fire! Goes off the bounce, goes behind your back, works foul line, pots for three, top of the key. You betcha! Natalie Potts, the Big Ten Freshman of the Week with a triple. 15 on the shot clock. Now he comes to the left side after spinning away from Barry. High post on a pop out to Mass. Nine on the shot clock. The handoff on the shot by Tominaga. Got it! Got it! Bang! 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 They say Tominaga! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. And we're back, hour number two, Sports Island here on our Wednesday night. Hope you enjoyed last hour. It's always fun to hear from the athletic director, hear from the boss. Uh, lays out a bunch of things. He had some great information about the spring game. So we now know uh, April 27th, 1 o'clock kick or 11 o'clock kickoff. Early morning. You okay with that? Get it done? I'm okay Move with on. it. And we know Coach, uh, Coach Rule likes he does. early kickoffs. So, um, you know, and hopefully some weather cooperates this year. It was pretty chilly last year, but. This is really late in April. It should be better, right? Yeah. But I know that's just, you know, again, with all the things that they want to do surrounding the spring game and planning it out, just getting that time set and for them to be able to get in there and then get it done, have that TV window, and then be able to do all the things. Because they, they will have a lot of recruits on campus, so I'm sure they'll have plans for that Saturday night. And just be able to plan around that uh, certainly helps. Yeah, I think that's probably part of it. Get it done earlier in the day so that you have more activities and times to spend with uh, recruits. Because as you mentioned, it, it is usually a really big time to show off your program. Uh, for that. So a lot of information last hour with, with Trev. We appreciate him coming by and spending some time with us uh, each month. Uh, what's that? Oh, oh, Rink Mass just made another shot. <laughs> How about I, that? Wow. What a performance. And he really has, he, Rink Mass has been huge and so such a huge role that he's played for this team. But he really has not had a huge 
game in a Big Ten game yet. And I think that knee was hindering him a little bit for a while. He wasn't 100%, but this was the matchup for him. And I love what he said in the post game about this team and how any night it might be somebody's night. They have just so many weapons that can score, that can go off, and that just happened to be his night. And he took advantage of it. But wow, he just he couldn't miss. We were texting about it, and I, you know, I, I'm do not claim to be on the same level as Rink Mass, but I did play high school basketball, and I had a couple of nights where it felt like that, to where just everything you put up went in and it is the best feeling in the world and he said that he said you know you you see one go down it was one of the first shots they hit that was a really good to step back and at the at the buzzer i think and and he goes once that went in it's kind of like the ocean it looked like the ocean and that's what i said i was like man it looks like he's throwing it into the ocean and unbelievable night great for him career night and i just i think that's just so cool about this team is you never know going into a game who's going to lead this team in scoring they have so many weapons that they can look to they're hard to guard yeah they are yeah and and for as many people as as much as people were freaking out about Juwan gary not being in the lineup look what they've done for two games now without him and it just goes to show you the depth the the buy-in the belief that this team has that, hey, I mean, not not taking anything away from Juwan and the role that he plays, but, you know, he's more of a impact. He do, he can score, but he's more of an impact on the defensive end. This team can still score and score yeah. in bunches without him. And it, and it I, I had this conversation with somebody the other day, you know, being that I was in the Big 12 and saw a lot of the teams that Coach Hoiberg had, this team reminds me about some of those good Iowa teams, State teams. That, yep. I, that Fred had at Iowa State. The way that all everybody on the floor can score, how he can find such mismatches, and you know, it's it's kind of like a great offensive coordinator in football, where you can look at film and see, okay, this is the matchup we want to uh, really exploit this game. He's able to do that with this group because there are so they there's so many guys that can score that he can find the mismatches in no matter who they're playing i thought i was watching jokic last time he <laughs> stepped back three i'm like what in the world this ought to be in the nba court Fan, fantastic night for him how about the guy who played the least last night was casey 14 minutes and 10 seconds of all the huskers that played us he played the least and yet this team wins by 13 points and he Incredible. didn't he's not in double figures We're, either right he ended up with five. So that, that to me, too, just, again, shows how good this team is. Everybody across the country going into this season, really, who, who is highlighted? It's Casey, right? right? Right, But there are so many other players capable of putting up the kind of numbers that even Casey puts up, Rink Mass being the perfect example of that, that, you know, if teams are going to try to take Casey out of it, good luck because you are giving a ample opportunity to somebody else who can score. Last year, and we heard Coach Hoiberg say that, that was about our only offensive right. option, is we had to find some way to get Casey points because that was a lot of times the only way we were going to score. But that is not the case this year. And how about – has? See, I, I'm anxious to see if this if it seems like this to you, but it just really feels like to me Nebraska has all of a sudden become the darling of college basketball. When you see analysts, it, no matter what it is, Peacock, Fox, um, the Big Ten Network, whoever it is that's talking about it seems to be all in and loving what Fred Hoiberg and this basketball team is doing this year. And it's been, it's so cool to see the attention that they're getting, how Fun it is. People are saying they're in, no doubt an NCAA yeah. tournament team. They've got them in. And it, just the way that they've won over the college basketball world has been just really fun to watch. I also think it's been pretty cool to see how everybody said, basically, you're almost guaranteed a loss when you go to PBA with the way that the atmosphere has been. You know, just how good that the team has been in the building. But the women's team, too. I think they're, the way that they're touting this Husker nation and how they have showed up and, and made it, legitimately one of the toughest places to play in college basketball. I think those two elements of this season have been really fun to follow, too. Jordan Cornette, who was a part of the Peacock studio broadcast last night, said, quit talking about them getting in. He goes, let's talk about how high a seed they can yeah, get. Yeah. And, I mean, if that narrative is out there, Nebraska, you're right, though. Nebraska, because of the lack of a past, mm -hmm. never have won an NCAA tournament game. They are a story, and people are now kind of zeroing in on this team because of that. They're going, this might be the group that does that. This might be the group that wins an NCAA tournament game. And when's the last time they even made the tournament? 14. 
And then also, it's a fun team to watch. They are. It's a yeah. fun team to watch. Then, so the the kind of the history. Think how bad they were a few years ago, right? They had the losing record. How quickly they've turned it around. You started to buy in last year and see some good things at the end of last season. It's carried over. I just think there's so many different elements to that that people love a story like this. I mean, you think about Nebraska. You know, you're, last night they they highlighted the volleyball team and they had a mm -hmm. shot of Becca Alec. And you hear about the football team, but. You just, you, it's not necessarily a, a, a sport you often hear talk about the men's basketball team. And so for now, all of a sudden, here they are and they're knocking off teams that they, how many times do they play a team now? And they're like, well, they stopped that losing streak and they stopped that losing streak right. and they stopped that. There's about what, five or six teams now that they hadn't beaten in seven or eight tries that now that they have stopped that losing streak. I just think all those things kind of, have, and that's, that is part of sports and why a lot of times people get behind teams like Nebraska because of all of those storylines. I actually thought Ohio State played pretty well, and yet Nebraska wins by 14. I mean, the, the Buckeyes shoot 48 per 48 percent for the game. They had multiple guys in double figures. They only had nine turnovers, so I thought they played okay. And is yet it, the Huskers win by 14. It's a pretty clean basketball, really. Yes. basketball game on both ends, but. And they just did not have an uh, answer no. for rink mass. They and did not have an answer. That happens, right? Basketball, if it, guys, it's his night, it's his night. Yeah. And, it was for, and I'll tell you, the other guy that's on a bit of a heater, CJ. Oh, man. He, he, every time he shoots, you're like, that's going to go in. So good. So good. And and the way that he's embraced his role coming off the bench. And he kind of liked that role, what, his, his sophomore year? Sophomore year. Yeah. Two years and ago. so he kind of liked, but he's. He's really embraced that role. He's a leader. He's he's one of the biggest cheerleaders, and which is also important to that team chemistry and what Brink was talking about, how they whoever's night it is, we're cheering each other on, and we love to see the other guys succeed. CJ's at the top of the list for that. Yeah. He is one of the biggest cheerleaders for his teammates, but then to see him come in, and he's he is shooting the ball with so much confidence. It is as confident as... As I even going back to when he was, he led the Big Ten in three point focal percentage his sophomore year. This is the most confident I have seen CJ Wilcher shoot the basketball. And he, you cannot, that's another problem for opposing defenses. When he comes in, you cannot shade off of him to help out in the post. Right. You have got to be up on him. You've got to have a hand in his face because he's shown that he can shoot it from the outside. He is absolutely a threat, and he's taking advantage of his opportunities and, and playing just such a critical role, providing that spark off the bench. I, I just think they are a tough team to match up with because there's so many different people that can, can get it done for yep. them. Fun game last night. Huskers now 15 and 5. They'll go to Maryland. On Saturday, and you mentioned it earlier, they they survived these two games without Jawan Gary. I watched Jawan warming up. I think he's really close. I think he probably could have played if they absolutely needed him last night. But to get the win and give his body and that leg a few more days rest, that will be big in February and March. Absolutely, it's kind of going back to what they did with Rink. Hey, yep. don't push it. You need him moving. You need all these pieces to do. I mean, you and I have talked a lot about the road ahead, and while teams. You know, analysts have them in, and we were hearing that they're an NCAA tournament team. You still have to go take care of business, you do. and and their margin of error is a lot slimmer than maybe what the women's team is because of the schedule in the non-conference, yeah. which we have made very clear we thought was the right thing to do. But you have to win the games you need to win and are supposed to win. You cannot have some slip-ups along the way, and so for for it's a long season. It's going to be a grind in the Big Ten. We're we're only halfway through this thing. Nine of twenty. Yeah. So we're only halfway through. It's it's still a long ways to go. And make sure that you have Juwan Gary when you need him the most. And so do not. I I, I don't think they'll push it at all until he is absolutely ready to go. Fun night last night at PBA. You mentioned the volleyball team was there. They got recognized at the first media timeout. They threw T-shirts out, got a big applause, as you would expect. And then they all dispersed to their seats. Coach Cook was there. Jalen Reyes was there. They went and found seats behind uh, the, the baseline. And I looked down there in a few minutes later, and here was Dylan Riola, who came down to sit with him. Dylan actually was up with the volleyball team. But so many people, Jessica, were trying to get to him for autographs that security moved him huh. down between Coach Cook and Coach Reyes. And Coach Reyes is from Hawaii, so they, I'm sure they know a lot of oh, yeah. similar people. Uh, and and, and but Jessica, it was a parade. People were tapping Dylan on his show, tearing, take a picture. And I'm a big, I love to study people. And I'll tell you, this young guy 
He was very patient. He smiled. He would take their phone, take the selfie, hand the phone back to him. I was impressed with how well he handled himself. He just wanted to probably watch a basketball game. And there he's sitting with John Cook, who he probably loves talking to, and he kept getting interrupted, and yet he had a smile on his face the whole time. So his, he was getting more selfies than Coach Cook? Oh, John <laughs> Cook was like nothing. They're like... And John's like, they want you again. They want you again. They want. That's it was unbelievable. Amazing. It was unbelievable. I mean, for as big of a deal in how much Coach Cook has been asked to do that, that he was oh. kind of taking a back seat to Coach Raiola. Oh. But yeah, it just I I think it's been so cool to see just that that's where he sat, and you said they were having a conversation, but just the. The camaraderie that Coach Roll and his staff have built with Coach Manning and yep. the wrestling staff, the volleyball staff, uh, it's it's pretty neat to see. But it's it's already pretty hard to believe that he is a senior in high school. You know, he should be a senior in high school, right. going into his second semester of his senior year, and how he's managed all of it. But it's probably a little bit maybe what he's been been such a highly touted quarterback for so long. His dad is who his dad is, and has. It's kind of when you grow up in that and you've been in an NFL locker room, you kind of know how to be a pro a little bit. But he um, he's certainly handling it well, and hopefully he uh, continues to handle it well, and I think he will. Damon mentioned it. How's he, he's not going to be able to go anywhere in town without being asked to take pictures and How's do that those feel, things. Greg? You have that same No, problem. I do not have that thing. <laughs> no, Cole does. I don't. But it, it, that's going to test him. It's oh, going to yeah. test his yeah. maturity. And the one time that he may not feel like doing it, People are probably going to come at him, and, and I, you know, I, that's just the way it is. I mean, but last night I studied his body language. I thought he handled himself like a veteran kid, not just an 18-year-old guy here in college. Right now, he's probably loving it, right? I mean, it's it's probably the biggest reason why athletes want to come here, and then sometimes it can be it does get a little daunting. I think for some of them, it's. They love it so much, and the support, and the buy-in, and the belief in all programs, and how they get behind all programs. It's why these athletes want to come here and play here, but it's also, you know, when you are a big name like that, probably can get a little bit overwhelming at times, too. Yeah, it was fascinating. I know a lot of people on social media saw the pictures of Coach Cook sitting there with with Dylan last night. It was kind of fun to, to watch them do that. All right, I uh, need to take a break. We've got the interim president of the University of Nebraska, Chris Kaborik, coming up here in just a couple of minutes. We'll get the latest from him, and we'll finish off the hour as well. But if you want to fire off a text, 402-413-2400. That is our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. They are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. We're back with... President Kaborik will do that next. There's no community like a Cenex community. And that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door. Powered locally at Cenex. This statement has not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When it comes to my lifestyle and diet, I don't always make the smartest choices. Touchdown! Woo! Hey, how about another round and some more chips? But when it comes to taking care of my liver, I do make one very smart choice. Active liver tablets from New Nordic. I used to have real issues with my liver. And at my last checkup, my doc was concerned about my numbers. But since adding a once-a-day active liver tablet, my gut's better, I feel great, and my doctor's happy. I ask a lot of my liver, so the least I can do to say thanks is a daily dose of active liver. Active liver is one of many award-winning health products from New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Scandinavia. Purchase at Amazon.com or for a volume discount, visit NewNordicUSA.com. Available as a tablet or delicious sugar-free gummy. Protect and help your liver the easy and effective way with active liver at Amazon or NewNordicUSA.com. It's being well-supported by a provider who understands your health interests and goals. It's ensuring you are well-connected to a team of caregivers and specialists. It's feeling well-cared for by having someone you can turn to who sees you for you. That's the power of being well-matched. And that's exactly what CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match does. Meet the provider who is right for you at MyProviderMatch.com. 
They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Woodhouse Ford is committed to making the car buying experience better. Purchasing your next car, truck, or SUV from Woodhouse Ford is easier than ever thanks to our streamlined buying process. Shop our current inventory and offers going on now and experience the convenience of buying with Woodhouse Ford today. Save up to $2,500 off MSRP on the 2023 Ford Bronco Outer Banks with approved credit, $299 dot fee due at signing. Offer expires 131 2024. See dealer for details. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp back with you. Delighted to be joined tonight in studio by the interim president of the University of Nebraska, Chris Gabor. Good to, too good to finally meet you. I have not met you. Thank you for coming in and stopping in tonight. I'm glad you've survived winter's blast that we've had here the last two weeks what was that that was crazy wasn't it <laughs> uh likewise it's an honor you know i've listened to you for so many years on the on the radio and uh it's an honor to be here but yeah i mean um i'm a lifelong nebraskan so this is even unusual for Ooh. what i remember but uh we got through it and uh you know it looks like the weather's gonna improve here going out so i'm excited about that exciting week I- Got school going again back on campuses, right? That's a di- there's a just a different buzz around campuses when there are students are back. The the greatest part of being part of this institution, whether you're the president or any position, is is getting to interact with those 50,000 students across our system. And um, you're right, um, it's great to see our students back on campus. Um, just a different energy, a vibe. I was downtown in the Haymarket before the game last night, and the place was just buzzing and 
and, and it just kind of lifts up the whole city. So um, great to see them, you know, some exciting things happening, opening of Kiwit Hall on campus and, you know, the Husker win last night, you know, great start of the semester. Kiewit Hall is the new home of the College of Engineering here at UNL. We're going to talk with the Dean of Engineering, Lance Perez, at a, at a halftime interview coming up here in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. I've driven by it. I've not been in it. I think you've been in it. It looks like a spectacular new building here on the UNL campus. It is, um, it is amazing, and uh, I hope you and all Nebraskans get a chance to uh, go in and see that space. Um, you know, Kudos for Dean uh, Perez for his vision and bringing that to life. And, and just like Husker Nation, our donors, amazing support to build that $115 million facility, all with private dollars. Um, and it's a game changer, Greg. Um, I was just speaking to a student there on Monday who was from Colorado, and I asked her, you know, why, why Nebraska? And she said, pointed to this facility, and she's like, um, you know, she could have went anywhere in the country, but this, that facility signified the investment um, Nebraska was making in engineering. And, and I hope, you know, I get really excited because that's what we need to do in Nebraska. We need to go compete. Uh, we have everything in front of us to go be with the best of the best, and, and we're going to go make those type of investments and those programs in Nebraska strengths uh, to be world class. And so, couldn't be more excited about that facility and what it's going to do for, for University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Pretty nice welcome back for those engineering students from the semester break to be able to walk into that building on Monday. That's really neat. You mentioned you were in the Haymarket the other night. What do you think of the basketball teams right now here at Nebraska? Wow, what a, what a great game. Um, you know, I'm so happy for Coach Hoiberg and all those, those players. Um, you know, you weren't here, but two weeks ago, Jessica and I talked about, you know, Basketball has a little personal feeling to me because I've, I've refereed college basketball for the past 20 plus years. So I, I had a, a behind the scenes look um, when you're on the court. It's a little different. And, and just watching those guys compete. And I heard you and Jessica talk about the performance from Rank and, and uh, amazing. But the, the most impressive thing to me is, um, and you guys touched on it, is just the team effort. I mean, it's just not one person, it's somebody every night. Those guys are working cheering for each other and the effort that they give on that court each and every night i mean that's that's really what nebraska is about you know giving it everything we got going competing with the best and you know if we fall short and we do all that so be it but when we come up on top and a little selfishly to come up on top on ohio state you know i may or may, may, or may not have sent president carter a, a text <laughs> last night uh, with the, some bragging rights was even more fun. So great win by the Huskers, but you know I don't want to leave out Coach Manning, the wrestling program, the amazing thing they do. You know I'm a native from Davis City, and that's a that's a diehard wrestling community. To, to see what he's doing with that program is awesome. And then you know Coach Williams, um, you know the the, the thing that the, the team the, the win against Michigan last week. Um, you know. You know, going on the road in Big Ten, you and I were talking a little bit about it as a college referee. I know how hard it is to win on the road, and um, and so those are always going to be tough wins. But every time we can get home and protect the protect the vault, that's what we got to do. And glad to see both programs doing that. Getting busy with the interim president at the University of Nebraska, Chris Kaborik, here on Sports Nightly. How, how did how does your background in, in in working in the sports industry how how's that helped you in academia? You know, it's been a great training ground, and you know. I, I was a student athlete in, in high school, small college. Um, but then, you know, to make a few bucks, I got into refereeing, and that became a, kind of a side hustle for me uh, for the last 20 plus years. And it's a great training ground because, you know, a basketball game, we're in a confined, confined environment, and, it, and it's all about conflict management. You, you make a call, there's one group that typically agrees with the call, there's another group that doesn't. Um, and that's a lot what we do in leadership positions. You know, we make tough decisions. Um, we try to explain why we made the decision. Not everybody can agree with it. Um, but our goal is to get aligned and make sure, uh, you know, in every basketball game, and, and, and this happens every day at, in terms of, of a leadership role, you know, there's always that kind of time of chaos. And so you, our job as referees and leaders is to absorb that chaos, you know, provide calm for everybody and, and provide hope that, you know, we're going to get to the right outcome. So being a basketball official has just been an absolute wonderful training ground for that. 
in addition to all the wonderful people that you meet, coaches, athletic directors, fellow officials. Um, but I also am a dad of three boys, and they're all active in sports. And so, of course, I, I uh, nothing to the level like Coach Hoiberg or Coach William, but did some coaching, um, at the, particularly in the baseball and, and basketball club levels. And I wish every referee had the opportunity to coach, and I wish every coach had their opportunity to referee, because once you see both sides, you can kind of you get a different perspective on that. And so having that, um, that kind of athletic, broad brand width of, of all those things and, and what athletics mean and the things we talked about, uh, how you get a team to pull together with a kind of singular focus and a vision on, on achieving you know, uh, uncommonly high expectations, has felt, it has really prepared me well for this role. And I bring a lot of that. I will always be a, a big supporter of all of our athletic programs um, in the university. And, and it's really helped me in this role in the, you know, the first 24 days on the job. Jessica and I were talking in the last segment about Dylan Riola being at the game mm -hmm. last night and a lot of autograph seekers and people want to take selfies with him. Well, that's the athletic four five-star athlete. You're looking for those five-star academic performers, too, and want to treat them kind of in the same way, right? Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, kudos to Coach Rule and what he's done um, recruiting um, since he got on the ground day one. Uh, I think it's been tremendous how they've gotten out to all Nebraska and, and to meet us. But, you know, I go back to Coach Ravel and getting Jordy Ball and, you know, Coach Williams um, and, and the Husker recruit she getting, Kennedy Williams and, you know, as a referee, it's, it's just fun to see former athletes, Sam Hoiberg, Alexa mm -hmm. Markowski, um, kids from Nebraska having success in Nebraska on the athletic field is, is really, uh, that just feels good. But so, you know, I ask our team, why not take a page out of the playbook from, from these coaches? And why don't we carry that over to, you know, our bread and butter, our academic mission? Um, you know, why don't we go recruit five-star student athletes really, really hard? Let them know we want them to stay in Nebraska. You know, they can go anywhere across the country. But, um, you know, I've heard Trev talk about this. I truly believe the University of Nebraska, we are set up for so much success. We have the, the right resources, the leadership team. Um, you can come here and be the very best version of yourself and whatever that is you want to be. Um, so, so my job, at least in the interim, is to go out, uh, really reconnect with all the Nebraskans, um, make sure all their kids and all these kids and their parents know that we want them here at the university if this is an opportunity for them. And we're going to work every day hard to, to let them know that, um, you know, if they're working hard, we'll make sure they have an opportunity here. The age-old argument is, you know, what the, the ac athletic achievements get a lot of the headlines, but the basis of a college and a university is the academic side. Do you see a connection between the two? Should there be the two connected? Absolutely. I mean, um, you know, a lot of discussion about ac investment in academics and versus athletics, but it's never been a zero-sum game in, in my mind, uh, where an investment in athletics is taking something away from academics. Um, we need both to be really, really strong. I mean, you hit it. Academics will always be our core, our foundation, our pillar, and research and all that. Um, but we also need to be really strong in athletics. Um, an investment in athletics is not only uh, a unifying brand for our state, it's something for us all to rally around. Um, but it's also an investment in our national brand, which is really, really important in terms of we need to recruit more students from outside our borders. We need to recruit talented faculty and staff. Um, and when they have something, they see the investments we make, um, you know, not only in our athletic program, maybe that's sometimes the front door to get them interested. But then we get them on campus and we show them like a Kiewit Hall or a Hawks Hall at Business College, and they see the kind of programs we have and the investments we made. You know, I tell a lot of people, um, once we get them here on campus, students, faculty, they really, really like it. And, and they really like it, enjoy it. It's sometimes getting over that stereotype that, you know, we're in the middle of the Midwest and we're in the middle of the cornfield. But um, so a strong athletic program will always be a high priority um, uh, while I'm here. 
How do you handle the, the objective, maybe a question that turns into an objective saying, well, Trev Alberts is going to go spend this much money on a stadium expansion. That ought to be going to the academic wing of the school. How, how do you handle that? You know, um, the, it's all about priorities and, and what are we going to be really, what are our strengths and what are we going to go invest in? And so an investment in athletics is not necessarily taking away an investment in, in the academic side. It, it's complementary each other. So uh, I never look at it in that, that view is that, um, you know, uh, one is taking something from the other. You know, kind of as I said, um, you know, if we can make a strong investment in the stadium and other areas that's good for our fans, who knows? That might attract somebody who walks by Kiewit Hall and takes an interest in that program and sees what's going on there. Uh, maybe a young, a young fan or their, their parents or anything like that. So they're complimentary in my mind, um, never competing. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all about priorities. And, and that's what we're doing each and every day. Um, we're having some really candid discussion with ourselves about what we should look like going forward. And those conversations are always uncomfortable but um, you know our job is to align around a vision and what our priorities are going to be and what are we going to be really really strong in Nebraska because I'm a true believer that a strong university um, is, is critical for a strong state and so that's what we get up every day thinking about. Fantastic. What's What's the next few weeks look like? I know the legislature is now in session you may be busy doing some What What is on your plate? Yeah, so, um, you know, we were really busy, um, particularly me and being new in the role and, and making and, and uh, rebuilding those relationships with state senators. And, you know, I can't thank enough uh, the support that the state taxpayers through the legislature, through Governor Pillen, give the university. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like Husker Nation. It's really unlike anything across the country. Um, in terms of the support they give us. So we, we will spend a lot of time with our, with our policymaker friends. And then, uh, you know, we have a board meeting come up in a couple of weeks, so we're getting prepared for that. So lots on the agenda. Um, school starting this week, so that's always fun, too. So never a dull moment uh, at the university. So each and every day it's really fun to wake up and, and go, go get to work. Well, President Kabork, great to finally meet you. And looking forward, we're going to do this a couple times a month. Looking forward to our chats here in the, in the coming months. Likewise. Thanks for having me. Chris Kabork with us here on Sports Sonic. We're back with more coming up next. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Let's face it, nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe, HairGrow is now available in the U.S. Only HairGrow contains Tokogaya, a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. Multiple clinical studies show HairGrow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using HairGrow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try HairGrow today to feel and look your best. Just go to NewNordicUSA.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with Hair Grow by New Nordic at newnordicusa.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts.
Experience luxury car buying like never before at Genesis of Southwest Omaha. Browse our full range of SUVs or our lineup of exceptional sedans, offering unparalleled elegance and sophistication. Plus, right now, lease the 2024 Genesis GV80 2.5 Turbo Standard for $669 per month for 36 months and 10,000 miles per year. With approved credit, tax title, and license extra, $5,999 down plus $299 dock fee due at signing. Security deposit waived. Offer expires January 31st, 2024. See dealer for details. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions. Cow chip throwing. Or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyset Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families, a legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of Built Ford Tough. Now, get 1.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, it is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture. And much more, Acres solutions for every field. Thanks to Chris Kabork, the interim president for the University of Nebraska, stopping by, uh, talking about his days as a college referee, basketball, and the connection between athletics and academics. Very interesting chat with him, and he will be joining us couple of times a month between now and through the second semester here on uh, campus. Look forward to our chats with him uh, coming up. 402-413-2400. That's the number if you want to be a part of the program here tonight. Duke had this in the ticker at the top of the hour. Jim Harbaugh is gone. He's leaving Michigan to go to back to the National Football League. He will coach the Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, that announcement came out right before we took the air tonight. So Michigan now in the market for a coach. I got to believe Coach Moore, who was their coach uh, for a couple of those suspensions when Harbaugh couldn't coach uh, because of Spygate and uh, also because of uh, some NCAA recruiting violations that kept him off the field for the first. That would have been that would have been the first three games of the season. So Coach Moore, I think, coached four of those six that he missed. I got to believe he's the lead, the favorite in that. I mean, I think the players like him. If you're Michigan, you've just won the national title. I think they knew this was a possibility that Harbaugh would jump and go to the NFL after this season. But to try to keep things in place, you would think Michigan would want to try to keep as much of the program together as they possibly can. And to me, that would mean promoting more to head coach. We'll see what the coming days come. There had been talk that Brian Kelly 
who was at LSU, would have an interest in the job as well. So I, I don't know, but I, we'll, we'll see. That certainly is um, things to keep an eye on. And not shocking that that would happen. And, and what happens now? What happens now to the NCA investigations in the Michigan program that have been going on about uh, some some wrongdoings in recruiting and then obviously with the Connor Stallions attending all these road games and stealing signs. I mean, does that just go away because Harbaugh leaves? I, that, that's, you know, that's always the worry. And, and they did penalize Harbaugh in season this year that he had to miss games. So m- maybe it does because the coach, the head coach of all of that did get punished during his time. I, uh, so we'll see. We'll just see where that goes from there. Also, the ACC tonight uh, revealed their football schedule for 2024. You know, the Big Ten did theirs back in, was it November? That we came out with ours. But just today, the ACC, who is adding Stanford, Cal, and SMU to their batch next year. So that has come out. I don't think the Big 12 the Big 12 has announced who everybody's playing, but not in the order and when you get your bye weeks and all that thing. So the Big 12 still hasn't done that. they got to be doing that, I would think, uh, shortly. But the ACC schedule is out now if you want to go uh, take a peek at that. Uh, a quick check of the scoreboard. Pretty good game going on in Iowa City. Maryland and Iowa. Maryland, of course, is the opponent for the Cornhuskers on Saturday as Fred Hoiberg and the guys will be headed back to College Park for that matchup. Iowa leads it by six with about three minutes to go in that game at Carver Hawkeye tonight. Uh, that's going on there. Some other There's some Big Ten women's games taking place tonight. Huskers do not play in the midweek uh, this week. They've got their next game at Iowa on Saturday. Uh, here's a quick check of the Big Ten women's scoreboard from tonight. Maryland, with about two minutes to go in the game, leads Michigan in Ann Arbor 67-61. Michigan State throttled Purdue 97 to 70. The Boilers will be in Lincoln next Wednesday to play Amy Williams' team. Uh, so those are the two games in Big Ten women's play tonight. The Big Ten men's, you've got this Iowa Maryland game going on. And then at the top of the hour, it will be Northwestern playing Illinois uh, in a second Big Ten matchup here tonight. 402 413 2400, the number if you want to be a part of the program. We need to slip in a break, but fi- time for me to also tell you that if problem gambling is burning up your money, there is a way out. Help is free and confidential for Nebraskans and their families. There's no judgment. Just help visit lifeafterbet.com. We're back to put a bow on this one for you next. Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America's heartland. Woodhouse GMC is bringing you more for the new year. With every new GMC purchase from Woodhouse, we're including three years of scheduled maintenance. Plus, with our current finance offers going on now, you'll save even more. Receive up to $7,000 off MSRP on the new 2024 GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Woodhouse GMC, we are professional grade. With a proof credit, must have 2009 or newer trade-in to qualify. $299 off you do it signing. Offer expires January 31st, 2024. See dealer for details. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor-saving measures, ground-truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting-edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There's no community like a Cenex community. And that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. 
Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Woodhouse Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. couple of folks in the chat room, and I think we even got a text about it for Trev last hour, wanted to know about the balloons. Are we bringing the balloons back? So I asked Trev as he was walking out the door, and he said, we're not going to supply balloons anymore. He goes, we have no problem, though, if people want to bring their own balloons to the game and let them go when the Huskers score. So there's your answer to that. So no more Nebraska with the mass supplying of the balloons. But if you want to bring them in, they're not going to stop you from uh, bringing those in. Uh, boy, they got a good one going on at Carver Hawkeye. Tied at 63, minute 20 to go. Maryland, oh, that was a three. They called that a three. Maryland's got a one-point lead. Huskers will play the Terps Saturday in College Park. Uh, so, uh, interesting game. Iowa's led throughout that game, but uh, Young just hit a big three for Maryland, and they're up uh, one point. So, Big Ten basketball, got to love it. And last night was so much fun. Rink mass was terrific. Uh, 34 points for Rink, double-double for the big fella, and just played tre tremendous basketball. And as Jessica and I talked about early in the hour, I mean, this is a guy that, you know, he's had the knee scope right after the Kansas State game, which he played so well in Manhattan in that victory for the, for the Cornhuskers. And then he missed a couple games. Now he's back. He had that where he got jumped. Remember, oh, folks, remember that? He got jumped at uh, down in the Haymarket. In late October, a couple weeks before the season started, uh, that was just a tr horrific incident for him. So to see him experience a night like that last night was just so, so special. So, so happy for him. All right, tomorrow night on the program, Amy Williams will be here. Uh, we'll, she'll, we'll have her, our weekly sit-down chat with her. Huskers getting ready to go to Iowa to take on Caitlin Clark and the Hawkeyes on Saturday. So we'll have that for you tomorrow night. There is, this is an alert, red alert. A new kicking back with the Cooks. John Cook, Lauren Cook West will play you a snippet of that tomorrow night on the program. I'm not sure when the full podcast will be dropped. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow that that will be, but we'll have a snippet of that for you tomorrow night. We'll also hear from Husker women's tennis coach tomorrow night on the program. So a full show for you tomorrow night here on Sports Sunday. But kicking back with the Cooks. Uh, as it's been maybe five, six weeks since we had the last episode of that, so always uh, looking forward to that. Uh, Crypto King also wanted me to ask Trev about uh, the Black National Anthem. You know, February is Black History Month, and the NFL has announced that they're going to play the Black National Anthem at the Super Bowl in a couple of weeks. Uh, in, is that in Vegas? I think it is in Vegas this year for the Super Bowl. Uh, and I saw that too late, Crypto. I didn't get a chance to ask Trev. Uh, that I, I'm juggling a lot of things, folks, when we have Trev in here because I got text lines, I got you folks in the chat room, so I'm trying to keep my train of thought. So I'm sorry if I missed some of those things happening there. Great stuff tonight. Thanks to Colin the Duke for steering the ship. What a show, right? We have the AD, we have the president. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that here on Sports Nightly. Thanks to all of you for listening tonight. Back with a full two hours headed your way tomorrow night. Good night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride.
the official foundation company of the Huskers. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks to help grow businesses, communities, families, a legacy of capability and technology that's made Ford F-Series America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. This is the next generation of Built Ford Tough. Now, get 1.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150 only at your Midwest Ford dealers. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill.